Hey guys, I'm Jay Randall and welcome back to my channel where I discuss wisdom for the modern man. Today guys, I've got another video to react to. This one is brought to us by the YouTube channel China Unvarnished. Please go ahead and like, subscribe to their channel. The title of the video, Older Unmarried Women in China. How high are their standards? Can you meet them? Well, without further ado, let's get right into the video. A 35-year-old single woman in China has set such high standards for her future spouse. My requirements for a partner are simple, they should have a ready-made house with no mortgage, preferably be a native of Shanghai, have experience living abroad, work as a manager in a company, and most importantly, have good temperament. How is that Someone simple? like Daniel Wu would be ideal. <laughs> However, what at a matchmaking event with thousands of participants, nobody even glances at her. Oh, there you go. The stark contrast between her ideals and reality leaves her feeling lost. Okay, uh, bro, I, we just got started and I have to stop it, bro. She just lifted off a slew. She started off by saying, my standards are simple. I'm sure trying to say that they're easy to, easy to meet. Then lists off a bunch of things that are exceptional. That is, that's n absolutely not common. And then... She gets the repercussions of that, where the reality, her value, she goes to this matchmaking event, and nobody even looks her way. It's like, yo, how can you have such high standards when the marketplace is showing you that you're not even nowhere near valued what you're asking for? And she's baffled. And that is honestly exactly what the women in the West are going to be, they're already experiencing it, but they're going to be experiencing it in record numbers in the, in the coming years. It's ridiculous. I'm told I'm the oldest woman here, she says. I don't want to continue anymore. Wen Jie, 35, is a senior executive in a company. Born and raised in Shanghai, she has always had a privileged upbringing, coupled with some good looks, which made her quite popular in her 20s. 20s. However, her high standards have prevented her from finding a suitable partner. It's only now that she's starting to feel the true weight of loneliness. So, whenever she has free time, she shuttles between various- Bro, look at her, bro. She's not- she's like nothing to write home about. I don't know what they were talking about with good looks. Like, she looks like every other Asian girl there. She's like average, if not below average. And then she's having these crazy expectations like, Bro, come on now. Come on now. You gotta be- you gotta leave- in reality, like there's no way you're going to get that. Making events in Shanghai. But in her eyes, all the prospective partners are subpar. It's her high and rigid standards that have kept her single for so long. Despite realizing her mistake, she refuses to lower her criteria, even in the face of criticism from matchmakers. All right, stay single. What do you have to offer? Die alone. What makes you so special? What can you give him? Just because you're a woman, are there not enough women out there? But Wenjie, 35, can't hear any of these words. Seeing Wenjie's attitude, the matchmaker can only helplessly introduce her to a wealthy and handsome man for a blind date. Uh -huh. To Wenjie, this man is undoubtedly the ideal marriage partner, he but to him, to she's worthless. <laughs> well, to be honest, I don't even want to look at her. Oh. Upon hearing the wealthy Bro. man's evaluation of her... Bro. I got, I gotta play that back. That was brutal, bro. Come on now. You ain't have to say that. Hold up. Okay, here we go. To Wenjie, this man is undoubtedly the ideal marriage partner, but to him, she's worthless. To be honest, I don't even want to look at her. <laughs> Let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. <laughs> Upon hearing the wealthy man's value, bro, this is what we say it all the time, bro. You wait until your thirties, thinking that the money and your stats is gonna save you, when the men you want aren't gonna want you back. Ladies in the West, if you're watching this, stop it. If you're in your twenties, man, you gotta maximize on it. Listen, don't follow the feminists, don't follow all the boss babes telling you you're going to be living life in your 20s and that's when your prime is going to begin. No. No. The men you want, just like exactly what she's experiencing right now, that's going to be your reality. 
you want to avoid that at all cost. Of her, when Jia breaks down. She cries like a teenager. But reality is cruel. It is. When you demand high standards from others, you must also examine whether you meet those standards. Thank you. In China, there are many older single women like Wenjie. They generally focus only on the man's financial status and social standing, while lacking a clear understanding of their own shortcomings. Yep. Their standards for choosing a partner are often very demanding, even unrealistic. Next, let's take a look at some of the exaggerated demands made by other older single women. As a 38-year-old single woman, are our standards for choosing a partner really too high? I don't think so. Even if you don't have money, it's fine, I can support you. I only care about your age, I like men born after 1995. Okay. I absolutely do not want men over 30 years old. After like all, the health of the child is directly related to the father, right? Another requirement is that I won't consider men who are infertile. Okay, Additionally, my enough. standards are even stricter. Men who can't have healthy children are absolutely not acceptable. Okay. As for the bride price, I can give you money, say, 200,000 yuan. But our child must take my surname. You should be at least 1.8 meters tall and have abs. Have we abs. women also value looks and physique. Otherwise, it's embarrassing to go out together, and I would wow. lose face. If you don't have a house, you can live in mine. You just need to take care of the housework and cook for me. I have a sensitive stomach, so you need to take care of my diet. Moreover, you have to be obedient and gentle, and at home, you Okay, look, the more she talks, she sounds more and more like a guy. Like the, the, the demand she's asking and what she's expecting from her partner, it sounds like a man. It sounds like a man talking. Like if you were to just like not look at her, just close your eyes, bro, I'm going to let her keep going, bro. This is weird. Listen to me additionally. Our relationship can only be led by me. You oh. cannot be unreasonable. I can spend money on you, but you can't trouble me. I'm okay. very tired from working outside every day, and I just want peace when I get home. As for work and education, I don't care if you have a job or not. But if you do have a job, it can't be too busy. Being too busy means you won't have time to take care of the house and children. Okay, yeah, she's the guy. She's the guy. <laughs> she's literally the guy in the relationship. Bro, it's just it's literally just like what Rolo Tomasi said. Women have become the men they wanted to marry, so much so that this woman is literally listing off a slew of things that a man would say. The expectations a man would have of a woman. This is crazy. But this is the position they have to be in when they spend all their time making a bunch of money. They get into their 30s now, and this is their last-ditch effort to find somebody. But since they're the breadwinner, since they've become the man they wanted to marry... They have to find their female equivalent. Well, it's the male equivalent of the female. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Moreover, you need to provide emotional support at home. Always accompany emotional me, support. appreciate me, and Sounds admire like a woman me. To me. How old are you this year? 30. Are you married? No. Do you have a boyfriend? No. No. Why aren't you married? I don't see the point. What's the point of having a boyfriend? So he can spend money on you? Yes, but he also has to be willing. How much money per month do you think is appropriate for a boyfriend to give you? I don't know. Is 50,000 yuan enough? That's definitely enough. Okay, so you said 50,000 yuan. I don't even know how much that is. Hold on. How much is 50,000 yuan in U.S. currency? The answer is $6,983.44. Okay, so close to $7,000. Wait, so she wants a man to spend $7,000 on her a month? Yeah, gold. like I said, gold digger. This chick is looking for a guy making high six figures. And, bruh, seven... Bro, come on, come on now. Nah. Nah, that ain't happening. That ain't happening, but let's keep going. How much bride price is needed to marry you? The normal amount, 
200,000 yuan. I think you're very beautiful. Hold up. So there's also a price to be paid to marry her. Oh, I said 200,000 yuan. All right, guys. So I just did the conversion rate for 200,000 yuan, and it comes to around twenty-seven, twenty-eight thousand dollars So not only does she want the $7,000 a month just for her spending money, for her to live life, all right? And that's U.S., all right? Twenty. That's $7,000 a month she wants just monthly, but she wants up front to, just to marry her $28,000. All right, man. <laughs> She's cooked. She's cooked, but let's keep going. I think you're very beautiful, so there must be many guys chasing you. Why do you think you're still single? Is it because you're very picky? I don't know. I think it's mainly that I have to like him, and he must have money. So, he needs to be both rich and someone you like, right? Not necessarily. If he truly likes me, he can have less money. But if he doesn't truly like me, he must have a lot of money. How much money do you think is a lot? I don't know. I think he should have at least 50 million yuan in assets. But besides that, the most important thing is that I feel something for him if I have no feelings for him at all, I still wouldn't marry him. 我的要求呢也不是很过分,就是要求农村嘛,农村有一套别墅. Oh, oh. Actually, my requirements aren't too excessive. Oh, I'm sure. Since my family is from the countryside, I want the guy to have a villa in the countryside with a swimming pool. Swimming. He also needs to have an apartment in the city that's at least 140 square meters so that it will meters, be convenient bro. for our child to go to school in the future. He should have savings of about 1 million yuan and a car worth around 50 to 60,000 yuan. The bride oh, price should be 1 million yuan. That's it, just these requirements. That's to it, be bro. honest, when I told my parents about these conditions, they advised me not to look for a partner. Then why are you still looking? I think if I go on 10 blind dates, at least one should be successful. Uh, I just sure. need to go on more dates. As a guy, I have to tell you, there are basically no young men who can meet your conditions. I'm genuinely here to find a match, so I'm telling you the truth, please don't get angry. Oh, that's a very low probability. But as a woman, I have to look out for myself if the guy has that much money, my future life won't be difficult or rushed. I would be so happy I could laugh in my dreams. Miss, wow. may I ask how Fantasy old you are world. this year? I'm 28 years old. 28. Oh, for a woman, 28 is considered quite old. Yeah, no China, wonder yeah. your parents told you to stop looking for a match. Yes, although my parents say that, I definitely need to find a boyfriend. <laughs> Miss, Bro, since you imagine your parents hearing your standards and then knowing your age and they're like, sweetie, just... Uh, just, uh, just forget about it. We, we don't need grandkids. Just, just go to your room. <laughs> just, just, just <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> they just, they, even your parents know you're cooked. Oh man, that is bad. That is so sad. Let's keep going, man. Parents know it's hard to find someone who meets your conditions. Why don't you lower your standards a bit? No one in the countryside can meet your demands. The villas you mentioned are just like the houses in front of you. Most rural houses are like this, and they are nicely decorated. Also, the savings, bride price, car, and city apartment you require are very rare. I think it would be great if I could find a guy with these conditions. This way, I wouldn't have to think about earning money or finding a job every day, which is so annoying. The elders in my village used to love introducing boyfriends to me, but they stopped doing so miss. Let's call it a day then. We're just wasting each other's time. I have one last piece of advice for you. Since your parents advised you mm. not to go on blind dates, you really shouldn't. It wastes other people's time and yours too. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Why do you think you can reject me? Your conditions aren't better than mine. And you don't look that good either. What gives you the right to look down on me? Answer me. Fine, I admit my conditions aren't as good as yours, and my assets aren't yeah. as good either. But I like 18-year-old girls. Don't blame me. My 80-something-year-old grandfather likes 18-year-olds. My 50-something-year-old dad... <laughs>
<laughs> Bro, I swear, Asian men have not been, like, so suppressed as, like, Americans. So, like, they still say exactly how they feel. This is how men used to communicate, bro. Like, completely unfiltered. They say what they want. Now in, in America, like, we've been so suppressed. You know, anything that in any way could sound like it's anti-woman or makes a woman just, not even anti-woman, just makes a woman feel uncomfortable or sad or upset. They're going to try to shame you, cancel you. So men are very careful what they say and how they say it now. We tiptoe around and walk on eggshells to make women feel better. And that it is not that way in China. <laughs> this man is being brutally honest. And a lot of men in this video have been brutally honest. And man, it is refreshing, but ooh, it, is, it is brutal. Let's keep going. 18 year olds and me i'm around 30 so i like 18 year olds even more <laughs> keep it real and you you're already 38 Zam. so what you knew my age before coming to this blind date since you knew my age and still came you should respect me right if you like 18 year olds go find an 18 year old why did you come to me i didn't think that much before i came but after meeting you, I really didn't expect your demands to be so high. Dang. Let me tell you, it's a time when there are more men than women. You say my demands are high? Your desire for an 18-year-old girl is even higher as a woman. If I want to find an 18-year-old boy, even if he doesn't marry me, he would at least get to know me. So what if you get to know an 18-year-old boy? Let's see if you can actually become his girlfriend. Exactly. I know you're 38, and I came here sincerely for this blind date, not to talk bro. about dreams. But the moment you sat down, you started talking about dreams, having a house and a car, Being both delusional. fully paid for, and having at least several million in savings. Damn. Do you think your demands are realistic? Nope. Why wouldn't my demands be realistic? Come on, man. They are Come very on. normal for a man. Forget it. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. She's pissed, bro. <laughs> Are my marriage criteria really too, too high? I have a master's degree and I'm willing to find someone with a bachelor's degree. I own two houses and I'm open to someone from any city in Zhejiang, rural or urban, as long as they can afford a down payment. I request a dowry of 50,000 renminbi and I'll match it with another 50,000 renminbi, making a total of 100,000 renminbi as a future childbearing fund. The only aspect where I'm a bit demanding is in the height of the prospective partner. Perhaps because I'm not tall myself, at 158 centimeters, I hope the man is at least 175 centimeters tall, so our future children may have an advantage in height. Hmm. Overall, I believe these four conditions are reasonable. I've already compromised a lot, but some keep urging me to lower my standards. However, how could I accept a man with only a primary school education, standing at 160 yeah, centimeters him. tall, and earning only 3,500 yuan per month? That's just not realistic. This year, as a 34-year-old unmarried woman, I decided to embark on the journey of blind dates. This is my first blind date of the year, and the gentleman is also single. He is two years younger than me and from Shenyang. Introduced by a friend, I heard he works in a state-owned enterprise, possibly as a labor. This morning, I rushed out without having breakfast, so I had to buy a bag of milk from the store. After drinking it, I realized the seat I was in had no backrest, so I moved to another spot to wait for him. When I saw him, I noticed he was quite thin. During our conversation, I learned that he currently lives with his parents, and he intends to continue living with them after marriage. I feel like we may have some differences in perspective because I don't want to live with my parents after getting married, I prefer to have our own space as a couple. However, I can sense that he is a reliable and hardworking person, and he seems to have a liking for me, deliberately trying to make me happy by cracking jokes we talked about what sounds different animals make. Okay. He asked me about the meow sound of cats, and I asked him if chickens cluck. He said chickens do cluck, and the chance is reserved for the prepared one. Haha, he really made me laugh. We just got to know each other a bit. As it was nearing lunchtime, he suggested treating me to something delicious, like so he well. took me to KFC. He said today is Crazy Thursday, so I asked him what that meant. 
Turns out, KFC has promotional offers on Thursdays. I didn't expect him to take me to KFC on our first meeting, and although I was a little disappointed, it's not a big deal. After getting to know each other today, I feel that we have some differences in perspective. However, at this age, it's not easy to meet someone willing to get to know each other, so I plan to continue exploring this potential relationship. Do you know what okay. kind of men women over 30 <laughs> in China eventually marry? Well, I mean, she has a little bit of hope. Looks like she's at least somewhat realistic. And even though he wasn't perfect and Prince Charming and six-pack and super tall and took her to the fanciest restaurant, she's still willing to, you know see it through now of course it's because she's older now and she has to lower her standards but at least that one has a little bit of hope you know that's like the most realistic one so far in this video but let's keep going man hopefully hopefully there's more because boy they have been delusional firstly these women will not marry men with poor conditions in their words i have waited until this age what would i see in him no money no looks Nothing. It's better to be single. So what about men who are older, have a house, a car, a career, and a high income? Such men are worth marrying, but they usually won't marry women over 30. Generally speaking, if a man with good conditions is still unmarried in his 30s, there are usually two situations. First, they don't want to get married. Second, they only want to marry a young and beautiful woman. These men with good conditions yeah, have rich emotional man. experiences, and they know the value of women, so they won't choose older women. Ooh. Older men can't marry, so... What? You see what he just said? That was very key. They know the value of women, so they won't choose older women. That's a harsh one to, to drop, but it's true. It's true. See, it's only in the West where we try to, you know, <laughs> confuse this whole situation when it comes to value, when it comes to the sexes and what makes a man valuable, what makes a woman valuable. Outside of the West, it's very clear the things that make a man valuable and what makes a woman valuable. But we like to lie to women in the West so that they can feel good at any age, at any size, at, you know, with any look, with any past, <laughs> with any personality. We tell them that no matter how you come packaged, no matter how old, no matter how many kids in tow, no matter if your belly's hanging <laughs> like over your belt, it doesn't matter, sweetheart. You could chop your hair off, be a feminist, be a insufferable, you know what? No, nah, you're still valuable. In fact, you are at your most valuable at whatever age and whatever However you decide to come packaged, that is you at your most valuable. And it's a lie. It's an absolute lie that we need to stop telling women because at the end of the day, they're just going to end up like this. At some point, it doesn't matter how much you lie to them. Reality is going to slap them in the face and there's going to be a very huge discrepancy between what they think believe of themselves and the reality they're experiencing just like they said in the beginning of the video the woman with all those expectations but then she goes out to the on the dating scene to like the what was it like a a couples or like a matchmaking thing and nobody looked her way she had a slew of expectations a slew of standards that she wanted men to meet it, ridiculous no one even looked her way and she's like the reality doesn't make sense, so we need to stop lying to them so that when they they can actually make wise decisions when they're young, knowing the truth. Even if that truth even if that truth is harsh, it may hurt their feelings, it may not make them feel good, but it's the reality. And if they can make decisions based on that, they'll be better off, as opposed to believing that they're good at any age and that they're most valuable at whatever they decide they're most valuable. They end up thirty plus and no guys looking their way. Tell them the truth, man. Even if it hurts, it's for their own good. That's what I say. Women over 30 can only look for younger men. To be honest, I've only seen older woman younger man relationships in TV dramas. In daily life, it's unrealistic for a woman in her 30s to marry a man in his 20s. Some young men in their 20s might be sweet talkers, but they can be very cruel. 
dating them is fine because they won't lose anything. Exactly. They're young. But they if a want woman sex. wants to marry them and make them responsible, that's another story. They can run faster than a rabbit, and some of them might even spend your money before running away. <laughs> so, women in their 30s mostly end up marrying older men, some marry divorced men or men with children, and some stay single. Mm. In the future, the phenomenon of older single women in China will only become more severe. The more developed the city, the more single women there are. Actually, many older women haven't found suitable partners mainly because they are too restless inside. They always want the best but often overlook their own shortcomings. Oof. As the saying goes, nobody is perfect. It's not easy to find someone who can connect and be loyal in the vast sea of people. If you use various conditions to screen partners, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack while it's right to prefer quality over quantity, it's wise to know when to stop. Everyone hopes to find the ideal partner, and that's understandable. But the reality is, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, and perfect people don't exist. Instead of getting caught up in perfect standards, it's better to look at the positives in others and see if you can live happily together. Thank you. After all, the essence of a relationship is mutual tolerance and understanding, not measuring each other with criteria. If you always have a picky attitude and set high standards, you might miss those who are actually suitable. Life is short, and happiness must be grasped by yourself. As long as the other person is sincere and you feel comfortable together, don't be constrained by external conditions. This way, you have a greater chance of finding someone truly suitable for you. May every older single woman in China find her own happiness and walk towards a beautiful future with her loved one. What would you like to say to older single women in China? Well, I'll tell you what I'd like to say. Lower your standards, god dang. Like, bro, I mean, I loved his message at the end. That was a great message, all right? And it, it sums up everything that needed to be said but what i have to say and it's not just for the women in china all right this is for the women in the west as well because they're going through the exact same thing you need to take an honest self-assessment everybody needs to do this both men and women men don't have a problem with this men are not the ones setting crazy high expectations it's the women all right so you need to take a a very honest self-assessment, see where you honestly, like, stack up in terms of the dating market, all right, who, who are the ones that are actually pursuing you, what can you reasonably obtain, what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, what do you actually bring to the table, what would, that a man would actually want, not what you think he should want, not what you want him to want, what a man naturally wants, and do you have that to provide him? If you take assessment of all those different things, how pretty are you? Are you in shape? All these different, be honest, be brutally honest with yourself. The worst thing to do, whether you're a man or a woman, is to lie to yourself, all right? Because then you're just, you're just floating out there. Nothing's going to make sense if you start lying to yourself. Be realistic. And then from that standpoint, set reasonable expectations for the partner that you can, you know, reasonably hope to obtain. That's just what you have to do. I don't care what you saw on Instagram or how, how bad you want that flashy 1% lifestyle or how bad you want that six foot three guy with who's jacked with six pack abs. I don't care how much you want it. You can keep reaching for that as, as long as you want. But you're, you're likely not going to attain it. Okay? Maybe for a night. Maybe for a weekend. You might get flown out. You might get the 1% guy experience. You're going to get shipped right back to your country and right back to reality. So I say, ladies, really got to, you got to get it together, man. If you want, if you actually hope to not end up like the woman in this video and you actually want something serious, yeah, you got to do better. And as for the men, avoid the ones like this at all costs, man. You do not, yeah, you're not looking for a woman who's, who's well past their prime like this especially when they still come in with re unrealistic expectations there are women out there with very reasonable expectations that you can build a life with and you want to seek that out all right and avoid these ones at all cost but anyways guys 
that's the video. If you got value from it, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, take it easy.